Good morning guys, uh, my name is Oldis and in this video I would like to show how to make your own design at lab, actually to make visually your lab perfect. So many of you who are designing networks work at with the Visio and know how to do it, but we have very nice feature implemented in the EVE and you can do it not the same way like in a video but very similar and let me show you so I created this lab and uh, let's grab my scratchings what I'm what I'm going to show we can add a shapes a shapes the shape w would be like a square area the shape would be like a circle we can add the text we can edit the shape colors uh, Z index I will show you what does it mean the background transparency of the text uh, text and transparency of some couple of things and tricks of rotation. Okay, let me start. So I assume that I would like to see R1 and R2 would be uh, EIGRP domain. So what I'm going to do, right click, you can see that custom shape and the text two options are here. The same way on the left, left side, under the add object, you can see the custom shape and text here. It is the same. So I'm adding now custom shape and it will be a square and let's name it a grp the border type will be solid or dash it you can choose which one i will choose a dash it the border white so i don't i don't like it very thick so i'm making some one or two usually it's the border color will be okay which one which one i like to, the blue one okay the border the border will be darker okay and the background color the same on blue but lighter okay it's like that okay and save the rectangle appeared and you can see that i can using the, my mouse on a, on a on the right bottom corner you can change the size of it okay such way and you can position as you like and you see that area is drawn and it looks nicely. So this, these two guys will be in a GRP area. I assume that three, uh, four guys, router three, a switch one, switch two, and R four will be a BGP domain. Okay, well, let's do. I'm going to node. Oh, it's not going to node. It's I'm going to shape, and the circle. And the circle will be solid line. Yeah, so uh, let's name it BGP. Uh, the border border white is something will be one the border color will be green green some some little bit darker green and the bow background color will be green but but where was, which one i took this one maybe yeah and very light green okay and save and you can see the circle appear it and we can uh, draw it so change the size and position where you need you can uh, position and after change change the size per your needs okay so nice so this will be a bgp area so these two uh, these all guys i think that a uh, couple of guys inside like switch one or switch two would be some other area like hsrp and i would like to make another extra area okay let's do it so i'm going to custom shape again it will be a circle hsrp for example it is a okay dash at this case uh thin as well and let's do it some some little bit uh, i want to take the red color will be not nice uh let's do that one so let's do this one okay and the background color is this but a little bit darker yeah it's to make it to make it visible okay save you can see another circle appear it but it's still behind because we created this this shape after we created that one it is behind so what i'm going to do now i would like to see the circle would be a top on this one so i'm going to edit now shape and you can see a couple of options more appear it on the bottom here and you can see z index and z index is 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 like minus one so i'm i'm saying it will be zero or plus one actually zero should be i think zero and when we are drawing you can see that this this circle is on top of the previous 
previous uh, actually BGP area and when we are drawing and you can position it now and you can see it very nicely so this will be HSRP area between the switches okay so now make it smaller and the last one is I would like to three to three guys to be in OSPF so I'm drawing again and uh, shape it will be square OSPF solid little bit thinner uh, the border color Oh, so let's do gray okay yes and the background color will be light gray okay something like that save all you need is just the position and the change of size okay and the change of size you will figure out very soon how how I'm doing that yes and uh, once you will start to draw you will like your own topology so you you gonna see this makes a perfection of the lab and when you're working you are market your areas so the areas are drawn and I would like to add some text to mark an area this will be BGP and this will be EIGRP on the top let's do so what I'm doing now the shapes I shown you what to do and now I'm want to add a text and I would say it will be BGP BGP AS oh, BGP AS 23 000 for example you can change the size font size here but I will show you how to change a size as well on the topology so the font color uh, let's say something red color yeah it's all red dark and background color okay save so it is still still and when we position you can see the background is is a white yeah so we can little bit little bit tune more so if you see if i'm pointing my mouse on a corner on a tri the small triangle appears and i can change the size such way look at this right and i'm clicking on a text edit and there is another very interesting option transparent what it does I check it on transparent and when we save you can see that the background disappeared so now it looks more nicely without the white background so we are just making perfection which you need right and BGP is done so to keep a common style in your lab I recommend you can you can have you have one more option duplicate of object I'm right click on the object and duplicate and you can see that the appear at another one so I need to duplicate again okay and I need to duplicate again if you need of course yes so double click on the text and using the simple text and I'm saying a e g r p uh, 10 for example will be on the top okay this will be um, OSPF OSPF area area 0 okay areas OSPF you can draw as well yes I will show you how to how to for example the area uh, R7 and R5 we will need an area so these guys on area 0 everything yeah but these two guys we will need in another area so in a center we have an HSRP so I'm saying double click uh, double click and we can uh, HSRP okay so HSRP may be a little bit smaller yeah, it's because it is positioned inside so HSRP will be here in this area now our goal is to draw that R7 and R5 are in area 1 okay let's do so uh, what I'm doing now it's uh, adding custom shape it will be a circle okay uh, it will be dashed for example right OSP F1 okay uh, the white no need uh, the border color let's do some orange for example orange okay and the background color as well it is orange but will be a light orange okay good save it is a circle but we have to position it nicely as well the z index is not working right yet so we have to do, we have to be on top of this uh, gray rectangle so i'm going to edit and changing the z, z index so z index is on top nice i'm saying to save good but 
this area is no good because we cannot position to cover our two guys so r7 and r5 for that we have very good and interesting thing that i'm going to edit and look here there is a rotation and i'm starting to ro rotate my circle so my area and you're gonna see it started to change position and look at that safe so area is positioned how we need it right you can you can make it bigger if you need yeah it's uh, something like that and position it again so such way you can make a rotation in the in the object let me add some text and uh, position in 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 the rotation as well in here in this point um so and some going text ospf or just just a simply area one okay uh, font color font color would be dark red for example okay okay safe so we have an area yeah so you can position such way but if you wish you can edit and rotate it as well so just to check you know, which which angle you have to do it and you can see the transparency is still on on this text right so area is positioned and the transparency i'm saying that no transparency will be so i'm going to save and you can see nicely add area so the next point would be to add uh, some text let's say subnets 192.168.20.0.24 uh, yeah this could be bold color uh not the bold style um some some dark dark green would be nice again say save position position as you like yeah the size you can change of text here right okay and now we can posi oops if something happens with, with, with a selection, yeah, it's a, something goes wrong or selected or something not, not, not working, just simply hit escape on a screen. This is a tip, okay? So now I'm positioning it, yeah. It's a, you're going to see it still has a background, yeah. It's a, maybe it's not not so bad it's if, if to have sometimes this background, but uh, I'm going to no background, okay? And now we can position or duplicate if you need use the same style of your subnetting so there will be a subnet here there will be a subnetting here and so on so on such way you can make your lab nicely looking and very very convenient for use okay let me show you now it's uh, some masterpiece which which i did uh, and, um, close where is that in the security yeah yeah probably uh yeah here is it so such such way using simple simple shaping objects and then you see that uh i use it the, the rectangle and created such tunnel so how i did it yeah so i created the shape it was uh, a square solid yeah it's sort of dashed line it's it doesn't matter it's, it's just i'm showing so the shape appeared then i'm making it uh in a right something like that yeah it is like a tunnel and then I just simply tune it and rotate it to a, a right position so it's I'm going to edit and I started to rotate it uh, yeah like that okay okay good so such way you can you can create any any lab and it will looks very very nicely after you finish it after you finish it your designing i recommend to use the very nice option the lock the lab because until we are unlocked we can move anything on the topology including the objects text and so on it is not so convenient it is not so okay because accidentally you can move some very important information to another place so for that we have lock a lab so i'm pressing a lock and after a lock you can't move anymore any object but you can use the simply notes to start wipe or operate with your notes and it is quite enough to do a nicely nicely lob lobbing um, i hope it will it will very very fine for you and thank you very much for viewing